Imagine your husband making a joke about you on TV. Colin Jost made a joke about Scarlett Johansson's body on TV, and it upset her. Let's find out what happened and how Scarlett felt about it. Fans love the joke swap segment that Colin Jost and Michael Che do every year on Saturday Night Live. But Jost's wife, Scarlett Johansson, doesn't want to be part of it. During the weekend update, where Jost and Chi exchanged silly jokes, Scarlett said she blacked out when she saw her picture on screen. Colin joked, ChatGPT has released a new voice assistant inspired by Scarlett's character in her. I've never watched it because without that body, what's the point of listening? The joke wasn't very harsh, but it still made Scarlett feel bad. She talked about her feelings on The Kelly Clarkson Show. Scarlett told Kelly Clarkson, I black out during that time of the night. I don't remember it. As soon as the picture came up, I just... I fully blacked out. Scarlett explained that the Weekend Update hosts don't know what jokes they'll read until they're live on TV. She said that joke was pretty mild compared to others. If you've seen the jokes, that's a mild version, Scarlett said. We need to go into hiding that night. I am terrified we're going to be targeted. It's so bad. It is brutal. It feels like every year it gets worse. And they do it at Christmas too. It's like a little gift to each other, Scarlett added. This isn't the first time she's talked about how nervous she gets while watching the show. For Scarlett, the ever-changing nature of SNL is both exciting and nerve-wracking, especially when her husband is in the spotlight. She looks forward to the annual joke swap, but dreads it because she never knows what shocking thing will be said next. Her honesty about her feelings also showed any tensions she might have with her husband. The joke swap segment is known for pushing boundaries and getting attention, but is nerve-wracking for participants. She mentioned that the jokes get harsher each year, making her anxious every time it airs. Scarlett also joked about her husband on The Tonight Show, starring Jimmy Fallon, teasing that Jost is legally bound to make a cameo in her upcoming movie, Fly Me to the Moon. If I ask him to do something, he has to support me. He has to be in every one of my films, Scarlett joked. Scarlett isn't the only celebrity to be upset by SNL's jokes. Remember when Ariana Grande pretended to be different famous singers to save a streaming service during a glitch on SNL in 2016? She started with Baby One More Time in her best Britney Spears voice. Britney Spears said, That's funny, noting she's heard worse. Ouch. SNL often puts celebrities in the spotlight. Early in her career, Jennifer Lawrence was praised for being relatable and normal. However, this cool girl image eventually became a target for parody. Ariana Grande impersonated Lawrence in a celebrity family feud sketch, playing up her down-to-earth persona. Jennifer Lawrence had mixed feelings about the impersonation. She praised Grande's impression as spot-fucking-on, but disliked the regular person joke. Lawrence commented, Others have said that. I'd want to die if I had said, I'm a normal person. Another notable moment was the 2018 Weekend Update segment, where Pete Davidson mocked Dan Crenshaw, a newly elected congressman with an eye patch, calling him one of the really gross people running for office this year. The statement sparked significant backlash. In response, Davidson returned to Weekend Update to apologize on air. Crenshaw joined him, taking the opportunity to roast Davidson back. The exchange was both humorous and respectful, highlighting that even in comedy, there are boundaries to be acknowledged. As for Johansson and Jost, they married in a small ceremony in October 2020 during the COVID-19 pandemic. Less than a year later, they welcomed their first child, a son named Cosmo. Whether this incident will cause lasting trouble remains to be seen. Additionally, let's revisit how Mark Wahlberg reacted to his SNL impression. Wahlberg was displeased with Andy Samberg's sketch, Mark Wahlberg Talks to Animals. During a Q&A with the New York Post, Wahlberg said, Someone showed it to me on YouTube. It wasn't like Tina Fey doing Sarah Palin, that's for sure. Saturday Night Live hasn't been funny for a long time. Wahlberg continued his criticism on Jimmy Kimmel Live, saying, When I see Andy Samberg, I'm going to crack that big nose of his. Then I'm going to tell him, Say hi to your mother for me. As expected, the drama didn't end there. Rumors circulated about a potential confrontation between the two. 
Gossip Magazine speculated about a showdown at industry events, even jokingly placing bets on who would win. However, the duo eventually cleared the air. Wahlberg's team later clarified that his comments were made in the heat of the moment and that he respects SNL and its cast. They suggested his response was more about his frustration with SNL's direction than a personal grudge against Samberg. Keeping the doors open is always a smart move in Hollywood. That's all for today's video. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to hit the bell icon for more updates.